Hi guys and gals and welcome to Game Slobs. My name is Coops and today is a very exciting day. Yes, we are going to be doing the next episode of the Living Story in um, Guild Wars 2. And this one is called Daybreak. Today I have got Nixie with me, as always. And I've got a little guest star today. Her name is Vile, or Tarset Sitamoon. I will be calling her Vile for the simplicity of it. So, please say hi, Vile. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Um, Vile has recently joined the Gods Guild and has quickly made her way up the ranks to Officer just because she's that awesome. So, yeah. Uh, very excited. A uh, few, few little updates on me, just because, you know, why not? Um, you may notice I am now donning the full set of Radiant Armor. Yes, I finally made it to three, no, 30,000 achievement points, which uh, only took me five years. <laughs> Great. And um, I'm also finally going to show you my bowls on camera. There they are, look. Oh, yes, I got myself Aurora. Um, with this patch, I, I do understand that uh, in Fractals you can now get two additional um, Mystic Clovers per day. So you can imagine a couple of days ago I made Aurora and threw a lot of Mystic Coins and stuff into the Mystic Forge. So yeah, <laughs> thanks for that Arena Net. Love you. <laughs> but anyway, without further ado, we are going to start with Daybreak. So here we go, here we go. And you're in the journal. It has begun. Is Timey going to speak to us? No, no she is not. Play this episode. Hey Commander, it's Timey. Here with Ritlock. Here we go, so she's Say talking. Say hi, Ritlock. <laughs> Ritlock has rounded up our provisions and I'm almost done desert proofing Scruffy. So, whenever you're ready to start looking for Oreen, we're at a Doyak Ranch just outside Amnu. <laughs> okay. So, just to recap on what happened last time, and uh, feel free to chime in here, Vile. Um, basically, Kralkatorik, um, he, uh, we defeated Balthazar, and Kralkatorik consumed all of Balthazar's magic, which one would think, correct me if I'm wrong, but one would think with the sheer amount of magic Kralkatorik has just consumed, he would go back to sleep. But apparently not. Apparently he hungers for more. And um, as we were in uh, Amnoon, Free City of Amnoon, uh, we were celebrating with fireworks and pretties, and then he flies over and Q Coops pissing his pants. Yeah. So that was that was me getting really giddy, like a little girl, screaming and everything. Um, Aureen went away. Uh, Aureen, it looked like she consumed some of the magic herself um, and got pretty spooked and, and off she went. I'm glad to hear that this is where we're going now. We're going to find Aureen. So this is very exciting for me. I need to go and see my baby. Um, just calling it before anybody else calls it. Aureen for a griffin skin. Just saying, that'd be pretty damn epic, don't you think? Yeah, so when it does happen, you can hashtag Coops told you so. Right, yeah? Cool. Right, <laughs> let's go. So we are probably going down to, yeah, as we thought, uh, going down to Eye of the Brandstorm. So we're going to go to Amnoon Waypoint. Let's go, let's do this. Right. So vile. Well, we're running. I think it's uh, it's only polite for me. Oh, still still with the bug, visual bug. <laughs> Yay! Um, what did you think of the Path of Fire story? I know you joined the game pretty late, um, so you joined after Heart of Thorns, didn't you? Uh, yes, I did. I I joined about a year and a half after Heart of Thorns, almost close to two years. I got the two expansions back to back, so I'm doing a wee bit of catching up here. Okay, that's fine. Um, but you've completed Heart of Thorns, yeah? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I've completed all the storylines. Excellent. So, are you, are you excited for this episode? Have you got any sort of preconceived ideas of what might happen? 
Uh, no, I, I am kind of excited for the storyline, though. Uh, I don't know if Krakatoric is as hungry for more as you said earlier. I think he's more or less scared and willing to fight back, because we did just so happen to kill Mordremont. Yeah, yeah, he might be pretty pissed that we killed his brother, to be fair. So, yeah, that might well be a thing. Um, well, we will soon find out. Hopefully, we're going to find Aureen first, and Aureen's not going to be too pissed at us, because... In all fairness, we were supposed to protect her. She is our baby, and we were supposed to protect her, as well as her protecting us, and we kind of failed epically at that, um, as part of the story, obviously. I mean, if it, if it was down to me, I would have just succeeded, because I'm awesome, but... Uh, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I do yeah. hope I mean, I'm sure that. you could have beaten a god with one hand kind behind your back. It would have been I'm no both problem feet. at all. <laughs> let's go, let's do this. So... Oh, Eye of the Brandstorm. I'm loving that artwork. Look at that. That is lovely, that is isn't it? Beautiful. The artwork in these new maps are just stunning. I thought Heart of Thorns was beautiful, and then these new maps came out, and oh, man. Yeah, they, they are really, really nice. I'm loving the dragon up in that corner. That is um, above what looks to be a moon. So that's interesting. Okay. Great. We're in the corral up back. Sorry about the location, but since you stole Joko's awakened army, Agent Keto thought we should keep a low profile. Yeah, probably a good idea to keep a low profile. <laughs> we have just pissed off uh, Joko quite significantly, even though he is locked up. I do believe that Joko is going to be freed at some point, and he's going to really have it in for us. There you are. Oh, there's Just a, a few more adjustments to Scruffy, and we're ready to hit the road. We should check in with Jory and Kaz. See if they've caught up to Krakatoric. They already checked in. Kralk is perched in some mountains. They said it's acting strange. That's odd. Something's interfering with the comm signal. I'll try out front. Where's Kanak? I thought he was with you. Amnoon, collecting his winnings. He's going <laughs> double or nothing on you and Krakatoric. Oh god. Speaking of which, we got a plan for when we do catch up to the Purple Menace. I'm hoping Timey's research turns up something. And if it doesn't? Commander, red luck, come quick! What? Found what's causing the static. A brandstorm? Again? I don't see any sign of Kralkatoric. If Kralk oh, had flown over, we'd be walking jewelry right now. Looks like Kralkatoric's learned wow. new tricks. Holy Moses. This is why I I'll have him run a scan. Sounds good. Ritlock and I are going to get a closer look. Oh yes, of course we are. <laughs> I mean, why wouldn't we? Look at that. I was afraid of something. Handed an elder dragon the energy of a god. What could go wrong? Oh yeah, I forget you can mount up. Oh yes. Okay, so there's a crystal here. Crystal, we gotta get him out. Oh dear. Dead. We've got to save these oh no, look at all the people we saved. And now they're all dying. Oh god. Oh, there's some achievements. Save 40 citizens. Oh well, we're gonna. <laughs> we're not gonna do that. <laughs> that in there? Oh, the flag. Okay. Where are 
Oh, good lord. Oh, there's a merchant there. And someone shooting at me from. Oh, from behind! God damn. Jesus. That hit hard. Okay. Um, now, Vile, you'll have to be my ears for um, the sound effects because I can't hear them through my headphones because I use surround sound. But I can't use it while I'm recording. So, there you go. <laughs> okay, no problem. Did we hear Aureen? Or did we just hear a dragon? Uh, I'm just hearing a lot of spells being shot around at the moment. Okay. Oh, there you go. I got I got an achievement. I hope you got it too. Yeah, I did. We've got another Excellent. one over here though. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Okay, advance towards the city. What is that? Oh, look! Oh, no way! Look, it's a death-branded devourer. Ooh, that looks a bit scary. No, it's, it's, uh, cons it's, ah, uh, Zaitan. Oh my it, goodness. Kralkatoric has consumed Zaitan. the power. Yeah, much like, um, Primordus did in Ember Bay. Oh wow, okay, so that's that's gonna be uh, interesting. So the legend is true. I don't know what legend I'm talking about, but it's true. Oh, with the reflex, come on. Zorin. There you go, death branded. Oh, okay. More achievements. Liking that. Okay, he, he's, he's okay. He's invulnerable. Branded thrall, so yeah, it's all, it's all Zaitan at the minute. Got Zaitan's powers. I think we can safely say Zaitan is actually dead. But I like the combination of, uh, of different dragon minions. How the hell do you kill these guys? Oh, like that. You just gotta wait for the NPC to run near it, basically. No, no, there's a crystal next to it that you have to destroy. I think the NPC oh, needs to it? run near it and get turned into a crystal. I'm not sure how this is working. I just happened to notice the crystal. Die! Die! Right, what the What's this NPC doing? Oh my god, do something! Okay. He's not got the star thing over his head anymore. Oh, that's Pinot. 
Crystal Cracker. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see if we can find another crystal over here, and then maybe it'll show the big one for the big guy over there. Possibly, yeah. Branded Cavalier's got crystalline empowerment on it. Okay, apparently we need to find a crystal, and it's usually on the walls above. Is what Nix just told me. Oh, I see one. This big ass empowering crystal, yeah. That thing. <laughs> Yep, it's gone. He's vulnerable to get him. Where's he running off to? Okay. I think Nick's took out the other one for us, which is good, good, good. Let's go. Oh wow, that's embarrassing. <laughs> Just dive. Oh wow, look with the crystals. Damn. Wow. It's gutting out everywhere. Oh god, look, it's even worse here. Holy crap. Um, where's his crystal? Here it is. You got it. Now I just need to find you. <laughs> Where's Nix? I am having zero effect on this crystal. Where is it? Can't see you. Oh, well, uh, behind the guy. Are oh, you behind him? Oh God! Oh, I see. Um. Oh, now it's going. Okay. Oh, wow. It's Deputy Case. 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 Oh, wow. You can finish him. Boosh. Guild finisher. Yeah. Gods for the win. Sorry. Little, uh, little guild plug there. <laughs> Oh god, there's so much going on. This isn't awesome. Up there, look. There's a crystal. I'm gonna, uh, gonna jerry my way up there. Boing. Die, crystal. Crystal down. Oh, bloody hell, he's up there. Raw, taste my jackal up. Bang. Oh, well, that's embarrassing. Nix and I got the one up. Oh, shit. And I'm the one down. Duh. <laughs> Somebody save me. Oh, my God. Leave me alone. I'm okay. I got this. Oh, of course I'm in combat and can't mount up. Yeah, I really hate that mechanic. I mean, it makes sense, but at the same time, it's like, ugh, oh, so annoying. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, there it is, look. Nice, look at that. Purple Wyvern fire in, instead of that kind of snotty, yellowy, greeny colour. There we are, down the bottom. Is this um, a new enemy? 
Oh, did we have we seen one of these before? I can't say I've seen one before, but then I didn't, probably didn't pay that much attention. Have you seen a branded wyvern before? No, I haven't. This is new. Uh, oh, oh, oh. He's invulnerable. Why is he invulnerable? Okay, um, I'm guessing he's step. standing on that circle there. Oh. Okay, he's going to land again in a sec, most probably. You watch him land somewhere completely different. Oh, yeah, that was close. Bubbers. Oh, watch out. Oh, wow, he just completely rezzed all his life. See, see him. Uh, we can't, we've got to take out the crystals. Ah, I see. I'm glad you're here, you know. Because <laughs> I've not got a clue. Not okay, just yelled it. it. Yeah, I think we're going to have to get them pretty damn quick to do some severe damage to him. Time to crack out the big guns. Get my elemental out, because that's going to do loads of damage. <laughs> Ouch. Okay, he's going to fly again, get ready for the crystal phase. Okay, he's going to breathe first and then obviously the crystals hopefully will spawn. At least then we'll know what we're doing. Oh. There he is above us. Crystals. Just expertly ran right past one. Wow, why not? The new tactic. Okay. Oh, look at that. Herp. Ah, uh, herp. Oh, look at that. I do love the purple fire. That's pretty cool. Really? Oh wow, we got it down to 25. Whoa. Let's hope it stays that way. Stunned, Bastards finish him off. There we go. Joko, Balthazar, now Kralkatorik. Remind me never to build a summer home here. Trophy's new tactical upgrades successful. Look, I brought Agent Kia. Commander, if Krakatoric's minions can brand people even when it's not nearby, we have a very big problem. We'll need local allies to stop it. We can't just steal Joko's army again. Recruiting mm. forces would be easy back in Tyria, but Alona? Oh, okay. What? <gasps> Maureen! We've been looking everywhere for you. What were you thinking? You could have been killed. Oh, wow. Oh, she looks lovely. She has grown, hasn't she? Oh, oh, oh! Thanks for clearing that up for us, Aureen. What the hell? Did everybody see that? I'm not 
the only one that saw that, right? Ori, I don't understand. What was... What was that? It wasn't good. The screams. I don't know about the rest of it, but the city looked a lot like Faranor. Oh! There she goes again. They grow up so fast. <laughs> oh, okay, it's clearing up. So thunder shocks everywhere, but okay, it's clearing up a bit. Faranor, you know this place, Kito. Can you take us there? I know every place, but no one gets into Faranor or wants to. It's infested. Humor us. Well, the Sun Spears supposedly know a way in. And if you need local allies, they're a good place to start. Right, Sun Spears. Where do we find them? Hiding somewhere in the Astralarium in Istan, I expect. The head archivist may know something. There aren't many left, and Joko's trying to wipe the rest of them out. They don't want to be found. Details. Istan it is. Ritlock? You and Kanak stay here and clean up any branded stragglers. Timey? There's enough new Grauki debris here to keep Scruffy and me busy for days. <laughs> we should travel separately for safety. I'll go ahead. Johnna get the docks can get you passage. See you in Istan. Okay, Foreigner is, I'm sure, it sounds very familiar to me, so I think it was a place in Nightfall, I may be wrong. Um, and then when he said Istan, um, well, Kamadan was the jewel of Istan, so we may actually be going that way, maybe, hopefully, because that would be epic if we went back to Spamadan. Um... But that is going to be our new map, I'm pretty confident. Um, if we look at the map, we might even be able to see whereabouts it is. I uh, guess not. No one's actually made it there yet from our guild. So, <laughs> But I'm guessing that's going to be the new map if we're getting a new map. We, we normally do, so that would be pretty cool if we could uh, get ourselves a nice new shiny map. Um... But it kind of poo poos at the moment, as it stands, what uh, me and Vile were discussing the other day, and we thought uh, that perhaps we would be moving um, with Kralkatoric, and as he seemed to be moving, sort of, we were here, and he seemed to be moving, sort of, either that way into this territory, where there is absolutely nothing from Guild Wars 1 or Guild Wars 2 there, or up towards the Deldramor front and that's probably the more likely way that it's going to lead. We know he was flying that way um, because he came from obviously down here so he must have been flying that way. Whether he flew back up his scar, I don't think he did but he might well have done. Um, but he did obviously fly over um, the Amnoon here. So we are thinking, well I am thinking, I don't know whether Vile still agrees or not, it was just speculation, but we think he's going to the Deldramor front, which would be so cool, because obviously that's where the dwarves were, so to be able to find a race of dwarves that hadn't been turned to stone and did live throughout all these years, that would be pretty cool. Um, mm. But again, so speculation, go ahead. Isle of Ishtan is now open. We have two guildies already on the map, so it looks like we're going to the Isle uh, just south of uh, the Sulfuris Wastelands. Oh, uh, yes, I see. The Isle of Istan. I'm going to look that one up because I think that's... Uh, I'm pretty sure. Wait a second. Also, if you guys open your hero panel... Uh, it looks like we have a new mastery. Yes, I did notice that halfway through, and I was like, "Oh god damn it!" Oh no, I have, I do have it active. I've done absolutely nothing towards it. Ten percent. <laughs> yep, me too. Uh, apparently, it self starts, so that was nice. We didn't waste any experience. But That's it's good. volatile magic. Master your bond with Arene, so you can safely collect volatile magic. 
though Maureen didn't turn bad, as some people speculated, it looks like we still have our bond with her. Excellent. Well, that's good. Um, master your bond with Aureen. Who knows? Maybe I will be wrong, and we won't get an Aureen skin on the on the gem store for like five five thousand million gems. Aureen in it, if that's your real <laughs> name. Um, but instead, um, maybe we will just get Aureen as a mount, a dragon mount, as it were. Perhaps what the crap is that? Oh, good lord, you have got to be kidding me. What? Have you seen the new mount skin? Oh, yeah, I didn't bother looking, though. I was considering the Mistlock Sanctuary. <laughs> I, I mean, wow. That's a raptor skin, right? Oh, um, yeah. It's a raptor that looks like a, a peacock. It almost looks like a raptor tango combo. It just looks absolutely ridiculous. So good job on that one, Arena. Now, well worth the two thousand gems. Definitely, gotta have it. I don't oh, know. This it is looks not pretty Pokemon. ridiculous. I think this might be right up my alley of things to want. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got an outlaw outfit. That looks. Uh, I'm sure that's probably been in the game for quite some time. I kind of gave up on outfits a long time ago. But anyway, yeah. So. So what what do you think, Vile? Where do you think what do you think is going to be happening next? I will just say, and um, the Isle of Istan um, is uh, where Camadan was. Actually, was so we might actually see Camadan. I'm sure Camadan's around this area here, where the, where you see the eighty. I'm sure, that's where Camadan was. Um, and there's uh, uh, there was a palace there can't remember for the life of me I mean we're talking years ago since I played Nightfall but there was a palace there that you did a mission in uh, Guild Wars 1 and um, it was all to do with um, the plague I'm sure it was or that might have been factions perhaps I'm so confused right now but let's go there and just find out shall we I think we should Okay, um, I'm guessing for the next part of the story we're just going to be going to the map, so um, it won't be an instance. Um, we'll have a little troll around, we'll have a little video just having a look around, we can go separate ways or whatnot, it's entirely up to you. Um, and we'll just, we'll just give people our feedback, how does that sound? Alrighty then. Alrighty then, excellent. So, thank you very, very, very much for watching guys, um, that has been this chapter we're going to flick on over uh, to the next part no I will not be changing my clothes I'm going to be wearing the same clothes all week just so you know uh, <laughs> I'm not actually going to be wearing the same clothes so yeah uh, but uh, yeah we're going to flick over to the uh, the Isle of Istan have a look around there give you some feedback um, so that video will be tomorrow for you guys it's going to be in like now for us so, thank you very much for watching, guys. I love you all with affections unspeakable. Vile. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.